live right now. We should be live now. Yes, I'm waiting on my thing on my on my phone. But hi, everyone! Welcome to the Raven Wolf channel. Uh, oh. I have here the one and only Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I have Anya with me. Yay! It's been a while, huh, Anya? It's been a while, and I missed it. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that we're doing this. Um, I feel like we have very we talked about this before, and I'm I'm really excited about presenting this information that you and me both feel like um, it doesn't get talked too much. <coughs> what you think? Sorry, I'm getting a cold. It's not from smoking. <laughs> yeah, and we both know. Yeah, we talked about it, and we both find that no one talks about it, and that there's something seriously wrong with that. I mean, not yeah. with the people not talking about it, but with the yeah. Matter. And actually, it's funny because I actually, and I don't know if you saw it, and I'm curious to know if uh, who in, in the chat uh, heard me talk about this before about the inconsistencies about the Gregorian calendar and how because I talked about this before on a uh, and on our and our and our show. But I don't think um, a lot of people watch it or I, I, I don't think a lot of people picked it up. So I want to take this chance to really make our points across because like it's important. I think it's important. I think so, too, because that might, you know, help some people to understand what's going on with us. Yes. What's the real matrix? Yes. Yes. And um, out of I'm sorry, I'm pulling up the chat going on oh. with us. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, I was pulling up the chat on my phone. Um, so let me, let's welcome the chat. So hi, Pisces, uh, Milky, 420 film, uh, Freedom is Films, but still Ransom, uh, Rob, Alex, Iowa, Denise, Johan, Diane, Tim, all right, everyone, welcome. Sorry, hi, Bill, if I miss your name. Hi, Mary. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, but I do want to, uh, hi, Trina. <laughs> I do want to say um, that I, even though I am going to be looking at the chat, uh, whenever me and Anya were going to be presenting this information, I don't want to interrupt her or I don't want to be distracted because I really, you it? know. But we get really easily distracted, Anya and I, so we're going to try our best. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we squirrel all over the place. Yes. But now we got, I I took this note, all of this note, because <laughs> I'm a dork. And you have notes too, right, Anya? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> yeah. So, um. So anyways, uh, how do you want to start? Do you want to start talking about how the Gregorian calendar, who implemented the Gregorian calendar and how that's, that whole thing got started? My pleasure. <laughs> Go ahead. So you like I said, I'd rather read my notes because other than that, I lose myself in a... Yeah, me too, by the way. Right? So um, first of all, the... There is still no proof really when it came into the game. So, so they're still arguing about that it was before 1600 or after the uh, I have, flood. I have the 1582. Yeah, that's what I have too. I just had some other notes as well. Yeah. So, and then in 1582, um, well, that before there was a, the Julian calendar, which was the Roman yes. calendar. Yes, I'm glad that you brought that point because, yes, thank you. So, um, who who was like wrong from the beginning? Because um, the year of 11 minute and 14 seconds. Uh, sorry, I have to read. I I, I wrote that in German. I know that was wrong. <laughs> That happens. So it's actually longer than the sun year. So um, 
from the sun year to the first moon, like the spring moon. So it wasn't right. It didn't add up. So then uh, the Pope, Gregor the 13th, in 1582, yep. he brought in the Gregorian calendar. So it was not pretty much new. It was just changed a bit. So yes. we took pretty uh, Anton says that the Gregorian and the Julian was combined. Yeah, so it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't really new. It was just change, right? Yeah. And huh, tell us why was the use or the purpose of the Gregorian calendar for the Catholics? Is it for the Catholics. <laughs> um, let me let me go. <laughs> so I mean, first of all, they brought in the um, the rule of February uh, 28, 29. What do you call that? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, the leap, leap year. Leap year, yeah. We, we call it leap year. I like that. Yes. <laughs> and and that... Uh, I'm sorry for mumbling already. So <laughs> for them, it was actually only important that the moon cycle was so used that the date of Eastern would be calculated right. Um, oh, wow. One year after... Christ was born. So it just amazes me uh, that they were obviously planning something already that Easter year, you know, with all the Jesus thing going on. So it's kind of fascinating that one year before he was born or after he was born, they knew already he's going to die in a few years from then, because obviously yeah. the Easter date was so important to them from Easter and not Easter, the Eastern, you know, the holiday was so important. Yes, yes. And uh, so this is why the start of the year is official January 1st. Yeah. And this is because it's combined to the one year after Christ was born. Oh, wow. I didn't know that, that piece of information but no i have here that this the the pope and the catholic they start using the uh the word calendar that comes from the root word calends which means account book and this is yep. because the primary use of this calendar for the common man was to know the was to know the dates of pay taxes right and in you. fact, this calendar was imposed, well, here, I, I'll wait for that part because I will go on a tangent. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know myself. So go ahead, Anya. <laughs> so they were actually thinking with, with the way they put January 1st, um, uh, it would be, uh, um, hold on, let me just translate that. Great. It, it's so the Gregorian calendar is they made it on purpose uneven. So, um, because the, the way they build it up, you will not even think about midsummer or or all the other days or uh, uh, equinox in, in autumn, like nothing that is anything natural anything natural that they back then without a calendar or, or or without the julian one that they were living i mean they were living without it right they were going yeah. after the sun after the moon yeah and for and, year for thousands of years before they even implemented the gregorian calendar yeah so and and they 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 mix it up on purpose so people lo totally lose track on the original I call them holidays, like on the original celebrations, because actually that that circle that like the pagan has or the Celts, it's all the same. Yeah. Um, 
which is interesting, has actually just, if you see it this way, eight months. Oh. So, or, or holidays, right? The seasons. Yeah. And, uh, so it's summer solistic, Beltane, spring equinox. And that's all equinox. pagans, right? What it will consider yeah, pagan? The Germanic people, they lived like that too, right? Yeah. And Imbolc, winter solistic, Zamain, autumn equinox, Lamas. So eight. And uh, all there, that that wheel of the year is actually just for the purpose of growing, planting, resting, and harvest. So they had a plan and everything, right? And the whole year it was planned. They were following the, the sun, the moon. The like natural said, harmonics of the earth. Yes. Yeah. And with that Gregorian calendar, they took it out on purpose, the way they put the dates. They're taking days out, they're putting months in, you know, yeah. around. Even the, the the names don't make sense. Like we Oh can't yeah. Um, I have um I wrote down the meaning of the 12 months of the Gregorian calendar. Uh, do you wanna go over those? Yes. Okay. So I have January January is the god of the doorway. February yeah. is an obscure reference to a type of entrails used in a form of divination. Oh, I have something nice to January. To, what? To, to, the, to Janua, Janua. Well, I can talk real Latin. Janua, the god. They say he had two faces and he was looking in the future and in the past. Oh, nice. Um, then March is named after Mars, the god of war. April, for me, and we exchanged notes before we came on live. And for me, I have April and May are names after, well, we don't know. It's something to do with springtime. But you have, you know, you said something about May. You have a different information than I got, right? Yeah, I got for May. Um, th that was actually take, well, she is, uh, that was the Roman goddess Maya and um, and it was was an old traditional festival in Rome where there it, she was a goddess of the wind of, of uh, abundance and, and growing and but what I found out that that was actually taken from the Mayans from the word Maya that's awesome but I'm also going to bring up the Mayan so, yeah, we talk about the Mayas later, but that was yeah. taken, like a lot yeah. of cultures took that name Maya or May from the Mayans. Okay, so next uh, we have June, which is named after Juno, the wife of Jupiter. And then right. July is named after Julius Caesar. Just a nice guy that wanted one name after himself. August is named after Augustus Caesar. August used to be the month called sextile, which means six. And Augustus Caesar figured that if Julius had a month name after him, then Augustus also wanted a month name after himself. So he changed sextile to August. And at that time, it only had 30 days. February had 29. So he took the 29th day from February and added it to August. So it will have 31 just like Julius did in, with July. <laughs> yeah, and they actually the name, he got the name for that month when he died, after he died. So he didn't even. <laughs> oh, wow. Nee, 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 boo, boo. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> September means seven in Latin. But yet yeah. we use it as the ninth month. Then October means in Latin A, which is the 10th month. November in Latin means nine, which is the 11th month. December is the 12th month and it means 10. Yeah, so, so there comes the confusion in, confusion in again, right? So it's not in any way that is tuned with the rhythms of the cosmos at all, <laughs> you know? No, and all those, those names, those festivals that they put in like February, like, um, 
Um, that was actually in bulk for the old Germanic Celts. And March, they had Osara before. Hmm. So, um, like, let me start from the beginning, maybe. So that, those were those he, heathen festivals, right? Not, I always say Celts, but the heathen festivals or how they celebrated the nature. Um, so they did their shamanic rituals, right? Their magic, their nature, they're there. So that's a nice sentence. Um, so during all this time with all those calendars, Julian calendar and Christian Gregorian calendar, I call it Christian mm -hmm. calendar. <laughs> Oops. Um, <laughs> I as well. <laughs> those old heathen celebrations uh, would be taken over from all those religious Gregorian, Julian, blah, and they were changed. So, um, so they took them, they took away the ability to feel the rhythm and the pulse of mother earth to combine with her energies that we have to combine with in order to do magic, to do shamanic journeys, to get the vibes, to get the frequencies. Mm -hmm. so to take advantage of the, the planets and draw from that energy. And yes, like we, you know, use the full moons to, I say, manifest, right? To manifest, yeah. That's and the, the new moons are to release? To release, or yeah. if you do, if you, it, it's good to start planning something you can put your wishes in and um they will grow and then on the day of the full moon you can release that wish you can do it as well if you That's do awesome. so they took away all of this by mixing yeah. up all those days but yet they took over they were like greedy enough to take these holidays like in bulk february yeah was yeah. what a nerve you know yeah it's like <laughs> so it was um which when we're talking about manifestation it's a day where the light was reborn and and mm. and the manifest and ma manifesting of life itself for example you know to to start new life and and and, and they welcomed it with fire with candles with everything so in March, Ostara, um, that's a, a, yeah, she was a goddess of light or, or the Celtic name was Alban Ailia. So it's the begin of, of, of spring, you know, mm -hmm. so, and, and they do it too. The begin of spring, bozos. So they even steal all of this. Or Beltane. So it was called, um, um, this is the, the transmission from spring to summer. So it was called the, the fire of Bel, Belenos. And it was to, to cleanse and uh, to uh, fertility, you know. Yeah. So they take that too. They, they put in their Maya and they even had to steal the name Maya. I mean, you know, what a those, nerve. That, those are just examples. I'm not going to go through all of them now. Assholes. But uh, <laughs> yeah, really. What else? Zamein. Um, yeah, so that actually, I want to, okay, I'm going to present my information that I, okay, so. Uh, I'm actually curious because I want to share how I started click things started clicking for me about this specific topic. Um, yeah. How did it start clicking to you? Like, wait a minute, what the hell with this Gregorian calendar? Why am I so? Well, it started clicking like uh, when I start started my spiritual journey, like almost twenty years ago, right? And I started looking into the heathen tradition because that always called for me. And I, I, I love to work with that magic of energy with the sun and the moon. 
and I was looking into those days where they celebrated and when they planted their seed, when they harvested, how they showed their gratitude, how they put their magic in there, their energies. And they did it all with, always with the sun and the moon. Yeah. So, and then I looked at the calendar and it was like, I think it clicked with me on Zamhain. You know, the, that that's one of my favorites when the veal is very, you know, thin. Then and you made a little a video, a live streaming this year. That, that was Beltane. And oh, I made never it mind. Beltane because it was full moon. That's why it fits. So, oh. and it clicked with me on um, Zamain. And I was like, okay, Zamain, the ancestors, let's celebrate. Let's see if we get a message. And I was looking up the sky and I'm like, there's no freaking moon. That's not right. So and it and the moon was, I think a week later or something. And then I was like, okay, that's the moon now. And then it started clicking. I'm like, wait a minute. So how can they say Zemhain is then, Ostra is then, and, and this is then, or Yule is, Yule is actually, well, Christmas is on the 24th, 25th, depending on where you live. Yeah. And Yule, they were so generous and, and said it's the 21st. So this is the longest night right so and then it just clicked i'm like this is wrong this is all fake they took it away from us it has to sync with the sun and the moon and not with this date they're giving us uh let me ask you this do you think because i'm gonna tell you guys straight up i have a conspiracy theory of my own <laughs> after <laughs> doing my research <laughs> so um do you believe that that's is that a form of a matrix? I believe that is our matrix that we are looking for. I mean, we're all talking computer program and blah, which I don't believe. Um, if not, I would write a complaint to my programmer. Um, <laughs> but, but I believe this is our matrix. This is how they keep us working. They keep us distracted. They give us a date, they give us time, we go to work, we do this, we do and that. And it doesn't help that, you know, they poison us with vaccines, with spray, with the food we eat. They keep us, like, dumbed down so we don't, you know? Yeah, so we don't even waste the thought about spirituality, about our frequencies, about our abilities, about our gifts, what we can God God-given gifts. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Uh, well, I asked you that because um, I, to me, like I told you this before we started the show that like I consider myself somebody that is, I'm pretty awake. You know, I'm always learning. I'm not saying, oh, I'm an expert because I will never say that because I, will feel, I feel like you always you're learning. I'm, I mean, I'm always learning, you know, and um, I never thought about the Gregorian calendar at all. It never really crossed my mind or anything, but it was... It was here recently till I started studying the Mayan calendar and how everything that they did was according to uh, <laughs> the cycles of the universe and nature around us. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it started clicking. And, uh, but anyways, I, I want to share some notes that I wrote about the ancient Maya people that study the cycles of both the universe and nature around us. They are mathematical connections between the cycle of the of the Venus, the moon and human pregnancies, eclipses, Earth orbits around the sun and planting and harvesting of corn, to name a few. The Maya created a harmonic calendar that is synchronized to all of those cycles. The soul skin, which is uh, one of the Mayan calendar, is yeah, therefore less. Soul T is that written, right? Yes. Sulkin. Sulkin, yeah. Sulkin, yeah. <laughs> is therefore less of a human invention and more of a profound insight into the organization tendencies with nature. Mayan cosmology <laughs> developed the insight with great ingenuity. Ingen 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 I can't say that word. <laughs> Whatever. Ingenuity and sophistication. Our Gregorian calendar is not synchronized to those natural cycles and thus is not aware. So what do you think about that? <coughs> I don't choke. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I got too. That's what I found out too. And that brings me to another point, which I also find this about this uh, starting the Mayan, that we live in an artificial timing. Yes. We okay. live in the 1260. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm, it's just like, wait, I'm getting a cold. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Anya. No, no, that's fine. I got my tea. I'm killing it with it. Um, the Mayans, they, they talk about uh, that uh, that time is four dimensional, right? Yes. And I know, and, and which I find in, interesting in the year of the wheel of the year, it's cut into four parts as well. Like I said, growing, planning, harvest, resting. Yes. So I find that, or it is, what else did I had? It's, um, and it's also what I use. We use the elements, right? Earth, water, fire. Uh, what what did I leave? Air, earth, far, water, fire. So that's four two four elements. Yes. Are you okay, Anya? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm worried. <laughs> no, no. It, I'm, good. Um, I'm good. I'm good. So I just it, thought that kind of caught my eye. I don't know why it just caught my eye. There's nothing written that it belongs together. Yeah. It just it caught my eye. Yeah, I, I I understand. But anyways, so I'm about to say something, read something, and then I'm gonna explain my theory, my conspiracy theory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, it actually is gonna go with this. But okay, so hear me out. So we live in a 1260 artificial timing, right? 12, 12 months, 60 minutes versus a 1320 natural timing frequency. The Gregorian calendar is a macro program that along with the mechanical clock, the micro program has led human civilization into irregular destabilizing mechanized ways of thinking and serve as an accelerated factor of materialism through the paradigm of time is money. Oh my gosh, that was rough to read. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so they reformulated <laughs> uh, time as art, the Mayan did, uh, reformulated that time is art as a universal factor of synchronization. Yeah. Um, so by changing our relationship with time, we change our perception of ourselves and the world. Do you agree? I totally agree. I had similar notes. Yeah, I totally agree. Okay, so actually, uh, I wanted to bring this up because Johan was asking this, or was it Trina? I forgot. Um, okay, so the law of, oh, and I, I don't know how I mentioned that I've been studying also the law of time. But this is where I'm getting all this information. But the law of time states that the galaxy and everything that is held together by a common timing frequency, a 1320 ratio constant, which maintains everything unified, <laughs> conditions through synchronization. This 1320 ratio can be found in the human body. It's 13 main art articulations and 20 fingers and toes. So that's why it's the 1320 frequency. Yeah. And the whole earth is now encapsulated in this artificial machine frequency that is destroying our planet by disrupting the homeostasis, which keeps everything in balance. When the homeostasis is sufficiently disturbed, then a shift is inevitable. Inevitable. <laughs> inevitable. Yeah. The apparent crisis that the world is now undergoing is the effect of biosphere, nosphere transition. The chaotic and dissipative shifts into the new order of planetary reality. Sorry, that was a lot. But no, that, that's correct. With all that said, I here's my conspiracy theory. I believe that the Gregorian calendar had to be implemented worldwide according 
to enslave us and keep us, not slave us, I guess enslave us in a certain way, but keep us in the matrix and sleep. And um, I believe that the, uh, when the Gregorian calendar got imp implemented, that's when, you know, the Spanish conquistadors forced that calendar to the natives, to the in indigenous, indigenous people. <laughs> and can you imagine if you're like a native and you've been practicing your ancestors has been practicing your own natural ways of you know following the cycles of the moon the earth i mean the sun and everything and then all of a sudden this person tells you no forget about that this is how it is yeah and that was with the heathens that was with the mayas that was with the natives that was with all the cultures that were living in that energy in that frequency in harmony, were aware of the magic of their abilities and what did they do with them? And they were so connected. People back then, the indigenous people, they were so connected. Yeah. Well, worldwide. So to me, that's my conspiracy theories that they had to force down to actually be able to implement that Gregorian calendar and keep us in this, you know, materialism, nothing matters. Your life should be just, you know, you born, you go to school, you try to make money, you buy things and then you die. And then, you know, that's it. Yeah, that's it. And to make sure no one survives that could pass a little more knowledge, what happened with them? They got slaughtered. All this stuff, uh, uh, I think Wayne Steiger did um, uh, a video about uh, how, uh, how critical it was the Alexandria and the, uh, what's the other? the destruction of the Alexandra library or whatever. And there's Constantinople. And uh, I believe that the Mayan information too, because do you know that only like once one glyph survive and it's not like, and yeah, they destroy everything. And what they didn't destroy, they keep deep, deep, deep down in the Vatican's basement. Yeah. Forgetfulness. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's sad. Like they did it with the poor natives. They were living in harmony with the elements. They did it with the, with the heathens. The Druids, for example, that were, were their shamanic people, right? They were living with as well with, with the elements and with the earth. They all lived in harmony with the elements and the earth. Like our animals, they don't care for a freaking calendar. No, that's, that's, and I said this before actually that us humans are the only only thing in this planet that are not in tune with the natural way of life <laughs> because we're in this matrix that is false it's not real and yeah. you know it's from the minute you're born <laughs> you're in it you're born on on this and this date and this and this time boom and that's it and that that's where the red race begins it's crazy huh and then you you have to play you have to go play then and then you have to go to bed then and then okay which is good for kids yeah don't get me wrong but <laughs> yeah you have to go to kindergarten you have to go to school you have to do apprenticeship and so on you get so like ugh, like forced yeah. into this whole system and do you have yeah. time to think about anything else i do understand uh you know in these days we need a job to survive unfortunately, because they take away all our sources. But um, I mean, you're so dulled into that system that you don't think about the moon cycle. Like, oh, oh, Christmas is then, cool. But no one thinks about that this was a totally different, that this had a totally different meaning and happened to the moon, you know? Yeah, and you know, the good news here is that you can get in tune to the natural you know, I mean, yeah, we have to follow because, you know, they're saying like if you if you work and stuff like that, but you're you can be in tune to the natural <laughs> rhythms of the world, you know, um, actually, you brought the when I took that video of the sky and the moon and I yeah. said in that video, I was like, to me, it looks like a full moon. And I actually talked to you that night. I, I think I think we messaged or something. And I and you're like, well, you know, because I was like, well, technically it's not till Thursday. And you're like, well, 
really with the Gregorian calendar we have to follow and it's that day like you know yeah exactly so you made me like kind of like a click like you know what yeah fuck them <laughs> fuck the, the calendar <laughs> yeah fuck the calendar yep and that's why, why Beltane I didn't like I didn't even look on the calendar I yeah. saw the moon I'm like that, that's the night that's yes, a night. that's so, awesome you follow your natural right? instinct yes and, so, and we talked about this before and to make sure they really dumb us down you know they poison us with other shit dumb us down and slow us down knock our energies down our frequencies yeah that's my belief as well that's my own conspiracy as well this is yeah. all done to shut us the f up yeah not, not to get our real ability going our own frequencies our own energies yeah and um that that's my belief and and same with g5 whatever you call it 5g 3d yes yes powers yes those are all frequency interrupters yeah we have to learn all of us we have to learn to bring our frequencies up to overcome that mm -hmm. and tune them down because we can do that raise just, a bulb <laughs> yeah raise up yeah raise of the yeah people not machines because so, yet again they make us believe it will make us sick they they put something out in the news you will get cancer so now everybody is oh my god we're all gonna die but no one thinks about maybe like hey it's a frequency i am frequency let's we, we are frequency that's exactly yes <laughs> so that's my belief yeah, Amen. so we both have our conspiracy uh, theories, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to exchange them because I hope that you guys are learning something or bring something to your awareness that maybe you guys could research on your own and things can start clicking like it did for me and for Anya. So, you know, don't you think, Anya, that don't you hope that bringing this mess, this information, yeah, I really hope that people start thinking about it. I mean, to really think about is this really a day to celebrate or not, you know? And, and, and then on the other hand, I mean, there's never a day good enough or bad enough to raise your frequency, your vibration, or do something with the energy of the earth. You know, just keep in mind those dates that we just named, like in bulk or whatever, those are just days to celebrate like our farmers know when to put the seed out, when to harvest our far farmers, they kind of still have that going. Yeah. Because it was passed. From yeah. That's why the, I think the farmers follow the farmer's almanac and this moon is the strawberry moon because it's when it was then when they did the picking of the strawberries. No, I maybe? think that's where they came from, but still there is still a little, no, they still use the moon and the sun. Yes. So, but um, yeah, I'm just saying like those were oh, yeah. celebration days, but it's never, no day, day is good enough or, or worse than to to do anything with your own energies, to, to dive into the energy of what yeah. we have, of our planet, of us. Iowa X brought a good point that I actually wanted to mention too. <laughs> Uh, he, he says, women have a, a biological clock. That is what makes mother calendars male in essence. But that remind me of, you know, no wonder how nowadays women, you know, have issues with, you know, their cycles and have, because they're not in tune to the moon cycle. <laughs> you know what I mean? <coughs> yeah, I know what you mean. But, um, Oh, I have um, I have a couple points that I want to read about what is time, and I'm curious to see, and I'll interact with the chat to see. I want to know what you think if you agree or if you disagree with this. So, what is time? Consider this: time is not quantity counted, but rather quality experience. Do you agree or disagree? 
Time is not quantity counted, but rather quality experience. I don't read anything yet. <coughs> Trina agrees. <coughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree too. Um, so the next one is time is not what calendars and clocks make us think it is. Agree or disagree? I agree. I agree. We, yeah. uh, Milky Way Weekly says time <laughs> is a human construct. Max Vision says, yes, I agree. Time yeah. alters with my mood. Um, okay, so next one is time is not linear, but rather fractal and holographic. I also agree with that. Holographic, yeah. Um, are you okay, Anya? I'm okay. We, I, I'm, I can just finish this and we'll cut it short because I don't want you no, to. It's fine, really. It's fine. I, I have my tea. It just has okay, to Okay, you work. let me know. No, I'm good, really. Okay, so time is not money. Time is art, like gravity. Time is an invisible principle fundamental to the universe that affects space. And then is time is an as atmosphere of the mind. Time is the universal factor of synchronization. So yeah, those are the points that I wanted to make. Yep, I mean, and I don't, I mean, you know, yeah, I'm okay, Jason. Uh, three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, back then, all the ancient people, they didn't have a clock. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, they were measuring everything again with the sun and the moon, with day and night. Yeah. Oh, Hi, April. It like, hey, it's 8 o'clock. Let's get the seats going here. That was like... Yeah. I agree. So... Oh yeah, I, I was talking to Anya before we started the show. I'm gonna start reading this show, this show, this book. Thank you, April. <laughs> the Mayan Factor. And it was funny because what we were talking, I haven't started. I order it when I start uh, looking into the Mayan stuff, but then um, I kinda, you know, it's one of those things when you purchase something and you don't pick it up till you're like, you're ready or until, you know, when you, you know when it's time to read it, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? It's just like someone tells you now. Yes. So I had it for a month, for months now. So, and I just now feel the need to start reading it. But before we started the show, I got some kind of awesome idea to maybe read some of it, uh, make a recorded videos about reading the Mayan factor so everybody can get an idea, you know? Yeah. And sorry if my... <laughs> If you don't like the way I talk, the the book readings are not going to go fun for you. So don't watch it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, so, <laughs> yeah, um, I think I'm going to start doing that because I, I want to share this information with everybody. What? No, just Alex wrote something in German. but <laughs> <laughs> What is it? He said, I read it in German. Anya schüttle es ab, fick die niedrige frequency. That means Anya shake it off, f the low frequency. That's funny. But I noticed every time, I mean, I was feeling a little blah today. So I started drinking my herbal tea. I know I'm not only talking about, I drink my own self gross yeah. tea. So, <laughs> but I also noticed every time. I talk about something like that and it's close to the truth. Mm. I start choking or my throat starts hurting. Oh my gosh. So it's like something, someone doesn't want doesn't to want that information out. Yeah. And that is something you do your book. And I think I got my message to talk about other stuff a little more which sounds maybe for the one or other a little insane, 
but I don't care. So I, I would like to talk at one point about what's going on behind closed door with people that have other abilities or abilities like us and more books, more knowledge maybe than us yet. Yeah. And what they are trying to do behind closed doors. I mean, some of us, we know, right, that yeah. they have their own empath and numerologists and all that, but it goes a little further, so. Yeah, definitely. And so astrology. Well, I will think I do my part from now on. That's so, awesome. And if I end well, up with a bullet in my head, then, you know, I was right. So Yeah. Well, no, you'll be fine. You'll be no, fine. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I think we're going to end the show because I think that we both, you know, got our, our, our we said our piece, what we wanted to share. And yeah, I think your hair is kind of funny. You need to like fix it. <laughs> I have a horn. Oh God, that's the devil in me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's funny. Um, but yeah, um, we probably need to uh, talk about this some more. Yeah, there is go very more. deep with this kind of talks. Especially with the time I told you about the Monat experiment. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. So, but like I said, that's a subject for itself, right? With a time experiment, how to manipulate time. Yeah. Um, Alex says, part two in the future, question mark. I think we should do a part two. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back, you guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, tonight is the full moon. Yeah, and I'm going to do a little something later. Me too. And I'm going to put my crystals out. Maybe I'll shoot, I'll, I'll make a video of how I put my crystals outside. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to do a little something too. <laughs> Didn't you do that last time too? Was You and me were sending pictures of, of our crystals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and not only your crystals. Do you charge your decks? Or no? Decks? No. I do. I put mine on... Um, well, I guess stay tuned to see how I do it. <laughs> I'll upload it. A, I will upload a video. But yeah, I put it on a little something and I put it outside. So it will I get. I smudge them with my, with my own mix. Then I smudge them and charge them with it. Nice. That's how I do it. Yeah. So do you want to say anything in closing, Anya? Well, yeah, I really hope that information that we had helped you guys. And if you can, whoever you are, try to absorb that full moon energy. I know it's strong and everybody's off the rock and thinks, what the F? But if you, again, you know, bring your frequency up and take the energy out of the moon. Just Start high-vibing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I, I hope that, you know, at least we put a little tiny seed in your brain to want to explore more of the information that we just presented. Because just like Anya has her own conspiracy theory, I have my own conspiracy theory because I read and I figure out things, but that's just me. And, you know, maybe you can do the same. But anyways, um, with that said, thank you so much, Anya. We'll do part two. Yeah, hope, thank you, Anna. I hope you feel better. Everybody send all, uh, healing vibes to Anya, her throat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I love you, Anya. Thank you, everyone. I love you all. In La Cash. And I will see you guys um, some other time. Bye. Thank you, Ma. Means good night. <laughs> <laughs>